Escape Jail. Why do I have a feeling you guys are here? Because there's a good chance that I could crash. Did <laughs> he already crash? Hello, Sam. No, I just didn't have the right screen set up. You know, it is. It is what it is. Ah, uh, NASCAR baby. That's right. NASCAR. NASCAR is correct. It could be one of those nights, you guys. Welcome. First of all, welcome to Cleveland, Dylan Hopkins International. And uh, we're trying to fly the historic airmail route, one of them up here in the New York area. This is airmail route 21, and we're eastbound today. But uh, before we get into that, let us uh, let me welcome all of the people who are gathered here to pay their respects <laughs> and watch me probably fail horribly at real weather. Steve PHL, hello. And then Steve 09 or Back-to-back Steve's coming in. Uh, Iowa Scotsman, hello, hello as well. And then, of course, down went Sim. Very nice to see you guys and, uh, yeah. Here we go, the flight of doom. <laughs> I can't help but uh, have that poem in the in the uh, bleak midwinter. Well, so yeah, what we're going to attempt to do is um, again uh, depart Cleveland and head to head to Erie, and um, the stream encourages to die in a fiery plane Jimmy. crash like it's nineteen forty nine. Kevin, welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, so yeah, this is uh, this is the idea. But here's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm crazy. There's tons of icing concerns, lots of weather everywhere. But if we can make it out of Cleveland, we've got a green dot in Erie. Look at the uh, Erie, ten, a few at two thousand four hundred scattered at four eight. The problem is thirty seven knot winds are. That's what's going to kill us. That and icing. And then Buffalo. Buffalo is a green dot. Buffalo is uh, 42 knot winds. Oh, my Lord. Broken, but it's 8,500. Look at the ceiling. It's, it's practically spring in Buffalo. Now, Rochester, we may have to make a little bit of a business decision, but at least the winds are only gusting at 32. So, um, I don't know. So, we're going to just try to get out of here. Fly generally uh, 069er course for 86 miles and just hope for the best <laughs> uh, what sort of anti-ice does the dc3 have well it has uh it has pro prop de-icer wing de-icer and windshield heat pedo heat that's about it not a whole heck of a lot honestly so 
Yeah. Erie winds are rough. Nixie, hey, how's it going, Connor? So, you know, it's just going to be one of those, one of those deals. So, um, but let's, uh, let's get the party started here. I need a little bit of hydraulic pressure here. Oh, that's not the right thing. I don't need you yet. I need to open you up. Let's take a peek over here and let's just make sure we get some pressure built up. Five or six pulls. Luckily, this is not my wobble pump hand, so we don't have to worry about a risk of an injury. Get that into green. That looks pretty good. Oh, that was already open. All right, well, fair enough. Um, we need the autopilot off. We need parking brake set. And I need the tailwheel locked for now. Um, cowls are open. And I think everything is free and correct. Let's, uh, let's find out. I don't know. Yeah, free enough. Boy, it sounds nasty out there. <laughs> uh, you flew in the storm last night with frozen windows. Yeah, I'm, I I was a little worried about even spawning in here early because I thought my windows might freeze up as well. But uh, the current temperature at Cleveland is actually nine above. So, Steve-O, no, this is the, this is the uh, Aeroplane Heaven DC-3 that came with one of the one of the world updates or one of the system updates, maybe the game of the year update seven or something like that. But it's, but it's, uh, it only becomes fantastic when you, when you, uh, use the, when you use the, um, Duckworks mod. All right. Prop full forward. Ooh, first things first. Sorry. Let's go to the, Left ox and right ox. Let's make sure everything is ready for fuel. Ox got hit hard last night. IMC down to the minimums with lots of icing. Yeah. Everything is payware for me. That's this is true. Fly it like fly it like you uh like you ran it. There we go. We're gonna do that and that. And okay, this is a yeah, this is a cantankerous bird to get started. No question about that. We're going to start number one, get the booster pumps going. Sorry, that'd be number two. Energize. Let's spin up here. Mesh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That ought to be pretty good. Mags primer. There she goes. Nope, didn't didn't. Oh, yep, I think I caught it. All right. Now we're just waiting for uh, oil pressure to come up. Ooh, all right. I think that's the first time I've ever got number two started on the first try. How well you guys can hear that. Crabbing at least 10 degrees. Oh boy, get your marshmallows ready. Um, are we on bat sim? We are indeed. I am I'm, uh, sitting on the ground over there in the... This is the uh, FBO area. And we're good to go there. All right, let's... Turn you off, and we can get the generator on. There we go. The Melvin Leroy channel is Jiffy Pop approved. <laughs> All right, we're doing pretty good. Let's uh, let's bring the RPMs back down to around a thousand if we could. Somewhere in there would be fine, I believe. All right, let's try number. Number one, booster pump on. Energize. Hello, test, test, test. 
M. Stein, I got you a welcome sound, my dude. Welcome, Mike. Two, three, four, five, six, seven ish, eight ish, nine ish, ten ish, eleven, twelve ish. Primer, primer, primer. Come on. Come on, girl. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Did I? Did it? Nope. It, I lost it. Ah, shoot. <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> Today's route. Cleveland crash. Erie crash. Buffalo crash. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much. Got your travel chair and Jiffy Pop ready. <laughs> Uh, let's try that again. Turn you back off. All right. Energize. Uh, sorry. The left. Got to spin the flywheel up a little bit here. It takes seven, eight, nine seconds. Mesh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might be a little. A little slow on that. That might be what's killing me here. Oh, there we go. Give us some beans here. Ah, I think we got it. Hey, oil pressure light is off. Ha 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 Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Four, three, four. Hello, hello, hello. You came for the chat entertainment. <laughs> Wash rank. Um. Uh. Hello. Wait, um, guten, guten, guten Tag, guten, guten Oben. I know you don't say it formal like that, but hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you again. I went over and spent a little time in Washrank's uh, stream the other day. Man, he does a variety of things and all at a very high production level. And his, uh, his English is actually really, really good. Way, way better than my German. <laughs> <laughs> so I told you that by the way <laughs> the Harley Davidson of the skies what's the routing for ERI uh, direct and we are just actually going to talk about that I so I am flying basically slant is it uniform I don't have a DME so I will tune in the, uh, the Erie VOR and that will give me a a fighting shot here of, of getting up there close but that's about it we're just gonna try to keep keep a little time here and um, try to estimate it it's gonna be tough I know with the winds the winds again are um, kinda coming from our kind of be off our uh, right hand side so somewhat helping us I think but not really really helping us but I'm gonna try to do that the whoops the navigational equipment in this plane is very old school, I guess is probably the nicest way to say it. And nothing really works all that well. So we'll be lucky just to kind of hold altitude and heading and, and um, yeah, with any luck, we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. Okay, cockpit lights. Yes, I do have the time set, by the way, for about 1 in the afternoon um, local time. So you can see how dim and dark it really truly is. But uh, that should make it nice. We're flying IFB. I follow beaches. That's right. That's him, newbie. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Nice to see you again. And uh, we've uh, we're getting pretty close here. So we've got... We've got engine starts. I need to check my hydraulic pressure here. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, we're in the green. Oil pressures are getting there. Um, actually, the pressures are good. Temperatures are still actually not too bad. Carb, carb temps we'll have to keep an eye on. I don't know how well it, it models uh, carb icing. But we do have the ability to uh, adjust the carb heat if we want and all that fun stuff. So um, there's that. And I'm actually still just getting somewhat used to the, uh, the aircraft itself. So and with the, it's been a while since I've flown the, 
the Duckworks mod. I've, I've flown about three or four sort of test sectors with it, and it's um, it seems to be working very well, but I really haven't done a lot of navigation, if I'm being totally honest. I have truly just been trying to just been trying to essentially fly uh, straight and level. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I did get a squawk code, a, a beacon code, because we don't have any ATC. They would like me to squawk 5271. I have filed a direct flight plan from uh, from Cleveland to Erie so that's what we'll be that's what we'll be trying to shoot for and then I'm also going to throw in here the Erie VOR which is 109.4 and then we're going to just I guess we're just going to see how well this tracks 109.4 that goes in there and don't have it I do know it tracks NDBs because I've uh, I've chased a couple of those but anyway <laughs> thank you wash rank all right so that should show up I believe that shows up down here um, although it's possible it shows up here as well uh, I, again I don't I'll, I must confess I'm a little ignorant with the with the actual um, yeah, the, the navigational tools, because I just pretty much hand fly it. So that, the compass matches up well. When we depart, we would like to be flying about a 079 heading. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of set that right now. If I have a chance, I might slap it into autopilot just to see if I remember the process. So our 070 for 79 miles. And uh, should take us about 29 minutes once we're airborne. So we'll, we'll get a clock going. Uh, keep in mind the best runway for the winds at uh, Erie is 3,000 feet long. hey -o. Well, uh, that actually shouldn't be a, too much of a problem for this plane. But we'll have to drag it in there nice and slow to be sure. Down when Sim was with me last night and uh, I did a little test flight over and over in Australia and uh, may or may not have ran off the end of the runway which was about 3,000 feet long so 2984 that is our current altimeter setting all right pretty close I think right there let's see what else did I miss anybody 0.34 came in as well did I say hi Tim that sim newbie hello I think we got everybody. If not, if I missed you, hi. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. Windshield heat on radios. Tuned inverters are on. Yeah, uh, generators, I think. Yeah. I have them listed as inverters, but I think it's generators here. Okay. There's a lot of uh, crossover between this and the and the air works so some of the things I do um, have a tendency to like I say bleed over from checklist to checklist okay so if our winds here are 230 at 16 let's figure out where we want to go hey nice to see you, Rob Valkyrie are you getting buried in snow there, here, we're just about to head out. And, uh, oh, I'm not getting my. There it is. So, probably head up here to 2 4 left. This ought to be a, the adventure of a lifetime taxi in this thing. We'll go Foxtrot over to Lima, and I'll take full length because uh, I might need it. And then we'll, we'll make a little, little left hand departure, head to the northeast. It was rain all day, and you were doing leaks. Oh, boy. Soaked and cold. Ugh. Mike said the lights only flickered once, but it's just a matter of time. Oh, man, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. All right, so since this is all de-icer, I think I need to 
wait until it's uh, kind of I'm up a little bit and then we'll we'll get going but yeah oh boy yeah <laughs> here we go I'm gonna do a little radio check here so if you happen to be on the ground at Cleveland uh, give me a, give me an indication Cleveland traffic traffic Douglas November 11816 is out of the GA area will be Lima out to 24 left Cleveland anybody hearing that does show I'm transmitting but you never know you never know yeah I'm, sh I'm I've got everything set up so anyway all right um, yep we're gonna try to go to there and um, I need to go now I need to oh my batteries uh, on the ship take that off Okay, cool. I need to come down here and kill the tailwheel lock and the parking brake. And let's see, let's see where the wind's going to blow us on this departure. Oh, it wants to take us to the right. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Okay. Uh, am I going to be able to steer? This could be interesting, boys and girls. Oh, man. Oh, I may not be able to do this. I might have exceeded my... I may have exceeded my uh, limits of being able to taxi. Uh, what's the range on these radios? Uh... If you're anywhere close, you should, well, yeah, I can't, I can't get turned around, guys. Let's get some momentum built up and see if I can swing it. A little hard left, asymmetrical. Oh, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be... When I start going down this uh, taxiway, this is going to be trouble. This is going to be pure trouble. Connor, you said you're up at Erie first, right? So, yeah, you may not hear me, I guess. All right. Well, if you're coming, I hope you know I'm coming. I can't slow down. All right, here we go. Oh, it's wanting to slide me all over the place. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're hey, we're fairly stable. Just didn't want to get going. Uh, where's the rain? I don't know. I have live weather on, so maybe I'm getting a little bit of a temporary hiatus here. I'll take it. Keeping all the flaps up until we get ourselves down. By the way, position lights. There's the end of the runway, so we're going to start to slow. I'm not going to worry about a run up. I think we're just going to try to get going here. Cleveland traffic, Douglas 11816 is departing. 2 4 left, Cleveland. Okay, let's get lined up. Next, you're actually in, en route and uh, with a second f uh, flip, just in case you need to turn around. All right, which seems to be the case. <laughs> so, all right, so we have filed 5,000 feet here, but we may we may or may not get there. Um, it, it all depends on, truly depends on if the VOR starts to come in or not and yeah I guess we're just gonna have to see how it goes here all right notch of flaps exterior lights coming on um,
booster pumps can come back on for now. And yeah, we're looking for uh, 85 to 90. Here we go. My, the whole stream hangs on the premise of me thinking I can get out of Cleveland. That's the entire premise. Oh, the tail's already in the air. That's not good. I don't have rudder, really, I don't have rudder authority yet, so I'm totally at the mercy of the wind until I get a little airspeed. There's 90. All right, I'll take that. Did I win the stole contest? Pause the break. Here. Ah, uh, delicious gear retraction. Looking for about 110 on the climb here. I'm out of usable runway, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up flappies. You'd be worried about the 300 foot runway. <laughs> uh, not a 3,000 footer. Yeah, well, if it's that, it, you know how it is. It's usually, as long as it's right down the chute there, you're in good shape. Cleveland traffic, Douglas 816 is turning left crosswind to 4. We'll be uh, departing the area back to the northeast, Cleveland. All right, there's 2,500. <clears throat> I'm hearing some beeping. Let's go 26 and 36 here on the climb. Oops, that's a little aggressive. I don't want that. I want 110. 110. I'll sacrifice a little altitude here for that. For airspeed. Okay, I think I'm ready to make the turn. And we're looking for about 070. Here we are into the muckety muck. got every every piece of anti-icing on that I can turn on. Whoops, there's uh, 060. Let's bring it back a little bit. Now, if I was doing this as back in the old days, they would actually keep it down to where you could see. So I have a little bit of a dilemma. Since, since we're trying to fly this, fairly authentically I think I'm actually going to stay down at 3,000 for as long as I can just to keep sight with the ground if we get ATC popping on and they're wondering what we're doing we'll let them know but uh, 4,000 is going to get me in the suit alright I can set uh, 32 and 23 I can set my power here Still, I'm climbing just a little bit. Let's see if we can get it uh, back down to 3,000. And I need to actually, yeah, I'm on about a, well, huh. my gyro compass is showing I'm not on 070, so either it is my wet compass. Let's bring it back here. When we flew the westbound route, the weather was nice enough that we were actually able to uh, just just fly the shoreline, which, uh, again, I'm not opposed to. I just was a little curious as to whether or not my one of these uh, instruments would, would tune a VOR. And there's pretty close to 070, I think. Continue to descend. Ooh, I'm a little aggressive on the descent. <clears throat> There's beautiful downtown Cleveland. Sunny. That was an easy takeoff. It actually it was. It was the <clears throat> the wind was uh, in our favor. It was working with us, not against us. 
Wash Rank, uh, going to go to sleep. Hey, at 2.30 in the morning, thanks for checking in, man. It means a lot. I know how late it is out there. Have a nice sleep. Have a good week. And hopefully we'll talk to you soon. <clears throat> Truly, if you don't already follow uh, Wash Rank, he, uh, he does a, a variety of things. And actually, his channel kind of has a cool theme. He, um, he will fly to a location and he will then participate in a different sim at that location so like uh like he on one of his uh one of his series he f flew around to different uh, racetracks and then would uh drive irl or ir indie racing league cars and and uh stuff like that so anyway kind of a kind of a kind of a unique and, and pretty cool stream i think Okay, we're not, we're struggling with the, uh, struggling with our heading here, but we're at 3,000, so that's good. Okay, let's try to get the heading where we want it to be. Yeah, we're going to be in the junk no matter what, aren't we? I think the airways, as I head this way, require at least 3,500, so it's Honestly, it'd probably be best if we were a little higher. But I'm just going to keep it here for now. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Shoot. It's 6.31 right now. So it's a, it's supposed to be a 29-minute leg. Crud. That was bad. That was bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad pilot. Um, let me get the timer going. At least I can have a rough idea. Timer. Um, stopwatch. I'm assuming that we're at least three or four minutes out. Ooh, here comes... Uh, here comes... Could this be... This isn't Berk Lakefront, is it already? I don't know. I'll know it if I see it. Burke Lakefront would be the uh, the first airport that we would come across. We're actually doing a little better than my predicted 140 also right now. We're doing clipping along at about 160. And we're going to have a, a bit of a tailwind too. So, Although I think Sky Vector takes that into account when it uh, calculates your your times but let's take a look is that that is not Burke Lakefront okay so that's a different different airport all right no VOR yet that's not good and I've not even been close to holding my 070. I've been all over the place. So it'll be a miracle if I find <laughs> if I can find Erie. Alright. Let's do this. Let's um, let's do this. We're going to push that over to Gyro. And I just want to see if I remember how to do this. Uh, autopilot comes on. Power comes on. Okay, that's good. Heading select comes on and it should turn us to 070 and then I'm fairly level so I'm not going to fiddle around too much with the uh, aileron and elevator if I need to uh, I'll, I'll tweak that a little bit but yeah I'm in the man well, actually I've climbed a little bit so how about we do this let's uh, let's spin it down see if we can descend Back to 3,000. I am hearing some um, some beeping sounds though, so I am tracking some some of the nav uh, some of the nav aids. But yeah, I don't see anything really see anything coming alive just yet. Do I have to turn something on down here? No, am I? Do I need to go high sense? think I do okay so again with this 
with this old school Sperry, like, like I'm not, I'm not attempting to engage uh, V lock. I, I just want to hold heading and altitude, and then I will chase. Like if a needle is pointing towards Erie, I will turn and follow that needle. That's that's pretty much what they had were uh, were homing beacons, sort of back in the day. So. Um, so that's that's what we and and the way that they had it, of course, was with they would listen to the to the beeping sound, right? Um, every so often they would also call, they would contact uh, if they if they had any kind of ATC, they would contact ATC, give a position report, and of course then they also had the guy that was uh, in the back doing. I don't know if it, this models it, but no. Uh, would be doing a little celestial navigation if weather permitted, but on a night like tonight, right? That's uh, that's a no go. So anyway, all all very very interesting and amazing that they were able to get where they got. And according to uh, Ernest Gann, so this is based on Fate is the Hunter, but uh, according to Ernest Gann, they like. like if you could get the plane off the ground, you were expected to fly. And you were expected to figure it out on the way <laughs> as far as icing and, and everything else. So um, obviously, you know, like if, if it was severe, maybe like tonight would be considered that. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't be flying, but we're in the sim, right? We can push the boundaries a little bit. Moderate icing, 15 southwest of Erie. Okay, thanks for the pirate. And I need to do... You know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, I have... What's my nearest ATC? Where are we? Oh, that's where I was flying last night. Oh, good lord. This is looking nasty. Um, probably Boston or... Washington. Let's see if I can let's see if I can tune either of those guys in. Um, I'm sorry, it would be New York. So 3345. Let's see if we can get those guys. Just curious to see if my ATC is working. Or my um, audio panel is working. 33 what did I say? 3345. That may be too far away still also. Okay, not hearing that. There's also 23. There's also 23. 75. fact that I'm not hearing anything is making me a little nervous. But I may just be too far away. So as I look at my audio, it is it is registering and I do have the speakers set, the input output devices are set. I'm just going to assume I'm too far away. What's DC center? 33 Hey, don't look now, guys. Look at that. It's clearing. <laughs> it's clearing. Uh, whatever. 33. We'll try Washington. If that doesn't work, we won't worry about it. 33725. And again, we may just be too far away from everything. 
try the radio switches up above. Yeah, so I'm hearing, um, I am hearing, although I don't know, maybe that's, uh, Cleveland area traffic radio check. Oh, this is, uh, that was, that was Washington. <laughs> Sorry. Cleveland area traffic radio check. It shows it's transmitting, but, and I'm hearing the markers, so right, well, I'll leave that on. I'll leave that on. Okay, we are eight and a half minutes, and, oh, man, look at that. We, if we could get a little bit more of that, we'd be in business here. 3,000 feet. I still don't see any kind of a, any kind of an indication that my VOR is tracking really on either side let's take a look though at our temperatures cylinder heads oil temps all looking good carbs a bit cool we'll go to the mains by the way there we go and now yeah, we'll just kind of keep it going here and see just see how how it shakes out. Hi, Pentagon. Happy Tuesday. I didn't bring down any water or anything to give you guys a toast. Kind of a host, am I? Uh, the other thing I forgot. Auto lean. I didn't run any kind of after takeoff flow. Booster pumps are off. Cow flaps should be to trail. Thirty-two and twenty-three gyros. Are they needing any kind of a resync? I don't think so. We're doing all right. Yeah, we're pretty close. I would say. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Well, here we are. Here's our view. And again, what do you think so far? Oh, that's not bad. A little bit, a little bit weathery. We are on the. We're on the lake shore finally, so that's good. Maybe we'll have half a chance at seeing. Should I be should I be should I be traveling out across the water? I don't I don't know. I have to turn my my weather radar off. Um, yeah, I don't think I should be heading out over the water, guys. My track should keep me in, in line here with the uh, VOR and, and Erie is kind of right on the shore but I think what that means is this we need to adjust our heading and let's go more of a 080 I bet we're just getting I mean the winds again are gusting from the south so we're getting pushed that way and is a 10 degree crab enough I don't know now of course I've got no no reference as to uh, if I'm over the water or not over the water. And I'm 12 minutes, but we're going to add three. I'm 15 minutes into a 29 minute leg, which might be less than that because I'm also not doing 120 like I thought. I'm doing 170 almost. All right, let me change that speed estimation. To 160 that would make my leg 25 minutes instead of 29 okay and and I'm gonna do a 20 degree correction we're holding pretty good here at 3,000 just a just a little bit above we're not sure the radios are working which is actually uh, era, sort of uh, authentic to the era. <laughs> and uh, anyway, yeah, we're we're in the in the bleak midwinter, my friends. This would be a lonely, lonely feeling. So, all right, what's our plan B? Well, a plan B, we're 
is to divert to Buffalo. And here's kind of what's happening to us. I, I was worried about this. So I, I turned the weather off. I turned the, the weather because I couldn't see anything. But this is now turned into a blue dot. So rain broken at 2,900, etc. So the, the plan B would be to head up to Buffalo. And I do have a Buffalo VOR here. Um, what I really need... Or do I have a Buffalo VOR? I have a I have a localizer. What is this? What am I? What's Tacan? What what the heck is this? What is that? Um. Now I guess if worse came to worse, I could I could tune in this. What is this over here? Is this? Uh, all right, I heard you. Whoever you were, my the volume is incredibly low, but at least I know it's working. Sweet. All right, good deal. Uh, I, anyway, the the divi the diversion plan will be to come up here and try to chase the Genesso VOR 108.2, uh, and that'll give us two options: Buffalo or Rochester, which currently right now have the best weather conditions, and I have plenty of fuel to get up there. Um, and that is one of the things that they did back in the day was if they didn't feel like they could make it safely down. Oh, look at uh, Cleveland's clearing up now. <laughs> oh, wait. So is Erie. Anyway, if, if they didn't feel like they could make it down safely, um, then uh, they would just go to the next town. And I don't know how, like, they must have had to drive the mail back or something. But anyway... That'll be our that'll be our diversion plan if we if we don't end up making any kind of contact because I think we're about 18 minutes, so 25 minutes. And we got people that are uh, not a, it's not a chat frequency, guys. Anyway, all right. Um this on traffic guys six six fifteen we had the forty nine miles to the east of the on the side for a rival steel traffic. Ooh. Heat system warning open spill valve in the radio compartment when the red light goes on. Uh oh. Uh that can't that can't be good. In the radio compartment, where? What the? I have no idea what that is, but apparently we're about to catch on fire. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Rock Valkyrie sharing some stuff. Um, yeah, does anybody know what that, what that means? Oh, you guys, you guys are killing me here. Text Unicom chat frequency is going here. I don't I don't know, but that doesn't look good, you guys. That's not a, a that's not a warning I've seen before, so I have to be that guy, I guess. Hey. Ooh, gosh. Hey, we've got a little bit of uh, clearing here. And we've got Tim Dog. What's with the audio? Um, which, are you talking about my sim audio or what? What's not coming through on your, on your end? Tim Dog, hi. Hello. Oh, this would be great if I could actually see where I'm going. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit off, aren't I? A little bit off, okay. Let's make a let's make a turn here. We'll be pretty aggressive. We'll go about 110. Oh, the engine audio is cutting in and out? Oh, weird. That's odd. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. I everything has sounded pretty smooth in my uh, in my headphones, but that doesn't necessarily translate to the stream. So hopefully that will sort itself out. Alright guys, we've got a shot here. Remember, um, there's a pretty good sized harbor that is just shy of, or just on the other side of Erie. So we'll be looking for that. Winds are 150 at uh, 15. Oh boy. Let's take a look at the air, airport diagram. 150. So... Yeah, I guess runway two zero. Resolated. Hey, how's it going, neighbor? Bad fuel, Steve is saying. <laughs> so, hmm. And that requires us to go out over the water too to make this uh, to make this entry. Let me let me see what the pattern is to uh, to that runway. That's runway. That's runway. What was it? Two four. Left hand patterns to everything. I think. Yep. Left hand patterns to everything. All right. One more check here. One five zero. And yeah. So two zero. So we'll. So if we can find it, we'll overfly and uh, we'll join a. I guess it'd be a mid midfield uh, overfly, left hand downwind two zero. That'll be our that'll be our approach if we can figure it out. If we can find it, we're 21 now, and so have we passed it? That's the question. Have we passed it? I didn't really notice a harbor there, and possibly something up here. I guess. This I see some lights blinking. We may get, we may have lucked out, you guys. The Goonie Bird goes on and on. Fixie. Hi, Fixie. Ah, uh, this might work. This might work. Hey, uh, good fixins. Uh, you know how to fix? You're a good fix. You know how to fix this? Oh, you know what? These are the these are the heat system. This is just saying that the wheels are um, up or down. And uh, yeah, so we're good actually. We're good. That's not that's not an imminent warning situation, guys. I think we have the feel. Nice, nice. All right, here we go. Autopilot coming off. He's had enough fun for now. Go back to hydraulics. Okay, cool. Here traffic, Douglas 11816, uh, approximately five miles south of the field at 3,000. We're going to be overflying, joining a left downwind runway 20, Erie. Valve, yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got a shot at this, you guys. We've got an actual shot at this. I am almost spot the time works out the uh, if this is indeed kind of a little bit of a harbor and if this is a uh, two runway airport with the shorter runway running more north and south then we're in business we are in business and uh, never did get a frequency never did get any kind of a VOR frequency there so that's interesting but that's okay it's okay. All right, I've got an ad break coming up. 
in about five minutes. I wonder if that's going to be... I'm going to snooze it. I'm going to snooze it. Because it'll be right, right when I'm trying to land here. So let's see if this works. See if this works. You never picked it up either? Okay, cheated and uh, used the GPS. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure that I'm... Okay, yeah, this looks like us. This is our sh uh, shorter runway. And there's our... There's our harbor. Okay, very cool. So we're going to overfly. We're going to join the left-hand downwind. And we're going to see if we can get lucky. Elevation is uh, 732 feet. So let's start to slow down and descend. So 17 plus, so 2200 would be an overfly altitude that I could use here. Whoops, little... Brought it back a little too much. Go auto rich. I even think this says eerie somewhere. Maybe not. Well, that's a short runway. Holy cow, that's a short runway. Is that a nine? Yep, that's uh, or a six. Yes. Okay, so we're good. Erie traffic, Douglas uh, eight sixteen over flying the field, two thousand five hundred. We're going to turn left hand downwind two zero. Erie. All right, guys. Well, that really cleared up nicely. That was uh, that was sure a a blessing there, wasn't it? Holy cow. I yeah, still need to slow down a bit. Let's go ahead and turn downwind. So I need to be 020 on the rollout. Still descending, or I need to be descending here if I could. Be uh, preferable. go. First notch of flaps are coming in. And yeah, I'm not exactly the tightest pattern in the world here. But I'm not descending like I'd like here either. And I lost track of my airport here. There we go. We're all right. Actually we're alright. Here traffic Douglas 816 is left base 20. Here you um, nothing so far downwind sim just trying to get myself low and slow enough Here traffic Douglas 816 is on the final two zero here yeah I just did it Horrible job of flying that pattern, you guys. Wow. I may have to try that again. We can salvage it. Second notch of flaps coming out. Here. All the lights are on. Extra pumps coming back on. Boy, the sun is challenging here, isn't it? Oh, oh man. 700 and what did I say? 750? Oh, 750. So, there's a runway out there somewhere. Yep. Boy, it feels... I'm at 2,000 and I feel like I'm not horrible on the profile here. I wonder if my altimeter is way off. go. It's going to be a gusty one. We'll see if we can keep it on the runway. Getting it down and keeping it down is uh, two different things. I heard that a lot of times they'll only go flaps one half when there's uh, all this crosswind stuff going on. So that's what we're going to try to do. And I'm going to look for about 80 when I uh, flare it out here. Bye. 
I know two red and two white are good. I don't know what eight greens mean. I hope that means it's good. A little bit of a push. Not bad though. Keep it. And we keep it redder, redder, redder. Tail still flying, tail still flying. Okay, uh, bring that down. Make the tail still flying. There we go, now we're down. Not gonna quite make the turn. Good job. Thank you, we're not done yet. <laughs> All right, um, Gary traffic. Uh, Douglas 816 is going to make a right-hand turn on runway uh, 6 and then vacate Erie. I truly don't know what I should have done there. Should I have uh, should I have backtracked? Should I have just flipped a, a 180 and just went back on that? Because I think I'm taxiing probably on an active runway. I didn't hear any traffic, so if we can get out of the way here, it'd be just fine. Whew. All right. Leg one in the books, guys. That worked out okay. So let's head over to the terminal area. Let's let everybody get off that wants to get off. Drop off whatever mail we have to drop off. And we'll see if we can keep going up the up the line. Ah, welcome to Erie. And Erie traffic, Douglas 816 is clear of all runways. So not going to... Not gonna really put her up at the gate like you would because um, there's really no way to get it out. <laughs> Let's just see. Am I mostly out of the way here? Yeah, I think I parked over there last time. That's probably where I should have went. Oh well, that's okay. Um, let's do this. Uh, booster pumps can come off. We'll leave it running, and um, de-icers. Yeah, all that can come off. Position light, landing lights can come off, passing lights can go, beacon can come off as well. Um, set the brake and, whoo, all right. 2893, what's 2890? Altimeter should be 2893. Oh, so let's see here. Yeah, so. Yeah, see the field elevation right now is 731, and I'm showing like 16 yeah i'm like a thousand feet too high yeah so let me let me spin that down and uh do a better job of oh I, wait wait a second Twenty-eight ninety. yeah that's about right right there yeah i was way too high okay well visual skills kind of took over what what little visual skills i have and we made it down that's all that's what matters okay uh yeah cool leg one in the books i think we will go ahead and we'll probably just depart on two zero since we're just right here a little short taxi hang a left let me just make sure it's yes yeah, left hand traffic for all the runways so we'll hang a left we will set a course of about zero six zero and that will take us uh, up here to Buffalo. Now, does Buffalo, it's a little bigger airport here, so you'd think there would be some kind of a uh, something, something. I've got 116.4, but what is that exactly? Like, is... That looks... That's What's the VOR with the, with the square around it again? What does that mean? That's not a tacan, because a tacan is just square, right? My kingdom for a good old-fashioned ADF. 
Because I guess what I could do, if I had to, is I could tune up. Well, no, maybe they're all... Am I just noticing that the VOR symbols all have squares around them? Am I the biggest... Am I the biggest loser on the beach? Look at the Detroit chart. All right, let's look at the chart here. Let's see what it says. You and your charts. Downwind simulations. Okay. Where's the uh, charts for idiots section here? I need a key. I need a key. Our plant. Uh, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing what I need, which is. So you're an idiot, and you don't know how to read the chart. Look right here. I guess I'm. Uh, my. My. Uh, wondering is like I don't see the normal VOR ring and maybe that's just because it's a uh, it's a class Charlie and that you don't have that just a just a Vortac the legend you're a legend down one sim where is the oh there it is uh, okay so airports uh, this is an NDB DME. So it is not a... Oh, it's a VOR DME. So I should... Yeah, that's what I'm tuning. So it should have a VOR omnidirectional range shooting out. Shooting laser beams out at me, man. So why isn't it? Why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? Okay, well, I'm going to try it. I mean, what the heck? We're going to... It, it's telling me Buffalo is, um, no, I've lost it. I'll just double click and cheat here. 1640. Okay. We'll do it. It's a VOR with the DME. I wonder, since I don't have distance measuring equipment, I wonder if that's a problem. Oh, look at the weather just swallowing me up here. <laughs> it's going to be that, that kind of a party all night long, isn't it? Um, all right, what did I say? 1640? This is nav one. 1640. I'm very surprised if it doesn't show this. I mean, if it doesn't display this, because I do know that it, it shows, um, it shows your direction, your, your, your ADF direction, but, oh well. I'll take a VOR with the DME inside of I actually would prefer a uh, per, prefer a slice of chocolate pie with that. Okay. Um, climb heading. Uh, oh, Nixie. Climb heading 2000. Oops. Climb heading 200, I think, to 17,000. Yeah, sounds good. I am going to go ahead and file a flight plan here from Erie, K E R I, to. Uh, Buffalo KBUF with Rochester Romeo Oscar Chuck as the alternate and it's 0208 I'm going to say we're out of here in 10 minutes 0215 and I'm going to say again we're going to say 3000 that was a pretty that was a pretty good uh, altitude last time I hear somebody in very cool next to us Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to fly, Erie to Buffalo, the next route, I think Nixie's here. The action amends VFR and uh Oh now you're giving me all kinds of stuff. Oh the Buffalo VR is being decommissioned. Really? Interesting, interesting. Wow. So, in other words, it's I shouldn't be tracking it then, because it it went out of service last uh, last winter. Wow. Okay. Well, never mind. So if we, I guess if we uh, don't pick anything up, we shouldn't be surprised. 
I am going to have to try to tune something in. I mean, surely there's something up there that's that's live, but maybe not. Erie traffic, Douglas 816 is uh, out of the terminal, taxi in 2-0, Erie. So you're using the uh, Niagara. What is that frequency, if you don't mind, Rob? Can you give that to me? I just would, out of in, more than anything, I just want to see if uh, I can track something with this bad boy. One eleven point zero zero. Okay, we'll we'll toss that in here when we get down at the end. All right, flaps are set. Booster pumps coming on. I should have had my cow flaps open, but I'm going to leave them in trail right now. Okay, so we're climbing to uh, seven, 1,700, and then we can make our make our turn on course. Okay, cool. Oops, peek over the peek over the dashboard here. One eleven point zero zero. Thanks for looking that up for me, by the way, Rob. Okay, so that's on. And again, I don't see anything else. Like this is turned. This is on. I wonder if I have to. Do I have to turn nav one? That should just be for the uh, for the marker. All right, well, we'll get going. We'll see if if anything changes here. Um, Here in traffic number one two five three Charlie taxiing Charlie Bravo runway two zero Erie. Okay, I'm looking at a twenty five mile leg here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember to get the uh, the timer going. Erie traffic Douglas eight sixteen is departing two zero Douglas. It's a little north north of Buffalo. All right. Uh, well, I'll okay. So I'll keep it over there on Buffalo first, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. It's hard to tell in in um, in the fat sim world, like what's what's active and what's not. Sometimes they lag behind a little bit. Connor, thanks for flying along, man. That's awesome. hearing some text radio calls coming in. I sure hope it's not for runway 20 at Erie. Because I've not been doing a good job of checking those things. Let me look and see. I guess there's nothing we can do about it right now. Nope. He is good. Okay, so again, uh, 46 inches of manifold. We are looking for 85 to 90. Set, set, set. Landing lights, boosters, complete freedom, check. Hey, Sam. Here we go, guys. Crosswind, be kind to me. Oh, boy. There's a uh, takeoff power achieved. Crosswind checked. Airspeed 75, 80. She wants to fly. I do think we're flying. <laughs> Positive rate is indicating here's coming up. And right, we have to climb to 1,700 on this 200 heading, and then we can turn on course. Flaps. Twenty six and thirty six for the climb. Thousand three hundred. Kurt Deasy, what is up? How are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Happy Tuesday. Sam, welcome. 
as well. I think I said hi to you. I'm on, I'm on task saturation level. Erie traffic, Douglas 816 climbing 1,700. We're going to be turning left, uh, departing the area to the northeast. Last call for Erie. And starting the timer. Air traffic November 125 through Charlie, uh, departing Lord 20, have zero, mercy. runway heading until 1,700, Erie. And I'm looking for, I'm looking for 060. And I'm also expecting pea soup. Oh, we're getting really slow. That's all the shaky shaky. Nose and down, nose and down, nose and down. Let's get some airspeed. Yeah, thank you. Zero nine or zero. Let's keep the turn going. Still no VOR. Here comes six. There's better airspeed. I need to climb at about 1,100. Huh. How about 110? <laughs> there we go. That looks good. And, um, yeah, not opposed, not too proud to dial in this. I'm really excited that I remembered how to put it into autopilot. That, that kind of makes me happy. 060 is what we want. I'm descending. I don't want to descend. And you take your, this plane's like a, like a four-year-old. You take your eye off it for one second, it just all kinds of misbehaves. There, we just shot right through 3,000. So let's just see if we can achieve level flight. Now I'm going 030. Holy cow, I'm making a mess of this one, guys. I'm making an absolute mess. Slight turn to the right. Need to be a little more eastbound here, sweetheart. Trimmy, trimmy. I'm actually at uh, cruise, so back it off here. 32 and 23 should work. Go. She's still wanting to climb. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Pedo heat. Oh, yeah, I didn't put any. I didn't put any of this on. Holy cow, thank you. Good catch. Good catch, First Officer Shusey. So worried about flying straight and level. All right, there's 060. Level it out. Let's now let's see if Air we can get our altitude. Number one two five three Charlie two thousand five hundred climbing seven clear of all active runways. Erie. Well, that's that four fourteen is probably going to eat me alive. I'm being honest. All right. Still want to climb. Holy cow. I'm going to pull back on the power. I think that. I just have a little too much airspeed right now, and it's just nothing I can really do about it. Just got to try to pull back and... Ah, it's just... It's just bobbing in the wind right now. <laughs> I'm trying to over-control it. Over-trim. Way too fast. Way too fast. Let's let it settle. Just let it settle. Hand flying is the best. Four minutes in. No VOR yet. No frequent or no uh, radio yet. Okay, there is three thousand. Let's see if we can get level here. How do you say? There we go. That's pretty close. Pretty close.
the old school pilots would tell you right now that's 70 feet too high that's sloppy that's sloppy airmanship they wouldn't be wrong all right I want to fiddle around with the uh, I want to fiddle around with the VOR some more, so I'm going to turn you on. Power, heading, and... Looks like I need to lift the elevator up a little bit here. Hey, look at that. I'm seeing uh, water anyway. Now, this isn't going to be bad because we do have... Actually, quite a bit of our route here is out over the water. So... All right, we're definitely close enough to pick up the Jamestown VOR, 14.7. Let's just use that as a little test here, guys. Um, let's, let's get leveled off here because we've descended a little. 14.7. That's, uh, that's the comms. Hello, Smitty Papa. Does that do anything? Hey, we, yes, we are alive. All right, cool. So, Nixio, keep me updated on the weather. Thank you. <laughs> Turn it all on. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, so that is a, that's a, that's a good sign. So that just means then we have to figure out. So apparently then, maybe what that's telling me is, uh, or telling us is that the Buffalo VOR has uh, been decommissioned and it's no longer a thing so that would mean that yeah that we'd be looking at either this uh, Genesso VOR or is this the um, what VOR would this be is this the Rochester VOR all right cool very cool very cool indeed doesn't really help us navigate to uh, Buffalo very well Although, if I wanted to, I could do this. I could say, all right, Jamestown, and then I could try to intercept a 028 off of that. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right. Hey, Sam, congratulations, man. That's so awesome. Oh, I know how long you've been working on that, buddy. That is so, so dang cool. And that's awesome. Uh, I I hope that I hope that you were able to uh, take a little time and um, and enjoy it with your with your friends and family and uh, celebrate a little bit. What a great accomplishment there, complete freedom. That's awesome, Tim. Yes, I I'm I'm tracking right now. I am tracking the I am tracking the Johnstown. Where am I? I lost my... I'm tracking the... Sorry, the Jamestown VOR. So, I do have that. So, apparently, again, the... Solid traffic, air turns at 680. Requesting radio check. I'll read you fives. Thank you kindly. Apparently, this VOR is no, no MOS. So, um... Yeah, so we're a little bit... Basically, we're, we're flying VOR-less at this point in time. And, uh, again, we just, we're kind of talking about what could we do if we needed to. And then Complete Freedom dropped a complete bomb on us. So that's way cool. That is way cool. <laughs> Only half listening. <laughs> hey, I understand. Tim, we're no, we're no uh, better than our students at this point in time. It's... Uh, I think the the song in the blid in the bleak midwinter was actually written by a teacher. So, <laughs> uh, oh, you know that you've been having trouble getting VORs um, that should be in Microsoft Flight Sim. Really? Okay, interesting. Well, I wouldn't have known about the decommission thing, but uh, our channel um, our channel uh, info guy. Our, our uh, back checker guy, Rock Valkyrie, pulled up um, a little notum that said that it had gone out on the 27th of January last year. So, 
Tell our traffic, Air Transit 680 is on approach for runway 05 via the Ling 3 arrival. All right, you guys. I think what I'm going to do here is... Uh, now, all of a sudden, I can't... Oh, duh. I think I'm going to track inbound a little bit. If you remember, on the first leg, we, we ended up with about a 20-degree crab... So I don't mind being out over the over the lake a little bit, but I don't want to be out on the middle of the lake. Well, why would it be on a current chart? So it really isn't, and that was my question. Is um, when I was looking at it here. Let me let me close this out. What are we looking at here? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I, I should take the Jamestown VOR out because that screws up my screws up my uh, planning. When we're looking at the chart, I, you actually don't see it. There's nothing here. It's It's got the airspace, but there's nothing here. And what I don't understand is it does still have this as, like, is this an NDB? What am, I, I don't know what I'm looking at here. This is the one part I don't know about. But uh, if you do right click on that, it does show you that 16.4 is a frequency. But again, I, like maybe they're lagging behind a little bit on, I, I don't know. I guess I don't have an answer for you right there. But, it, but visually, it's not really showing, um, you know, like the, like the Genesso VOR is clearly shown, clearly displayed. So, yeah, mysteries, I guess. It's, it does say 16.4, yeah. The frequency is there, yeah. So it's a little confusing. I would agree with you guys on that. A little confusing. So, all right. So now let's say we're going to get socked in here. Let's, let's think ahead. There's an NDB five miles out, 204. Okay, let's check that out. Let's check that out, 204. Yeah, it's set. Yeah, it's set. All right, cool. Um, and that is... I don't think that's tracking yet. Ooh, hey, here we go. We've got... Looks like we have the ability to shoot a, an ILS even down here. That could be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to figure some of this stuff out, you guys. Yeah, anyway, we're climbing up into the soup here, so let me... Let me uh, bring it back down. But if if we are socked in and we're not able to locate Buffalo, then uh, rats. And I think what we need to do is we need to look to see if Rochester is an option for us. And the nice thing about Rochester is it does have a VOR right here, the Rochester VOR at 110 decimal zero. So I'm going to set that. And that'll be our that'll be our diversion back at 110.0. Okay. Neither one of those apparently they're both too far out of range right now. But that, so those will be set. I'm at 3,500. That's uh, still a bit high. Just. Bringing my elevator trim up a little bit so I can descend nice and in control. I don't really want to overspeed, so I don't want to get too aggressive. Um, oh, you know what I should do as well? Let's let's check our fuel. Main mains look good, about uh, 80 each. The oxes are about 90. Okay, that's fine. Let's burn off the ox for a little bit here.
All right, point three four. The the VOR was decommissioned, but they left the DME. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Genese, Genese, Genese. What am I saying? Genese. I probably pronounce it like a Geneso. Geneso. I don't know. However, I'm saying it. Geneso. I think is what you're supposed to say. But uh, anyway, I digress. So we are Yeah, so we're going to track this. We're going to track this. I've got it set now at a 080 heading just for wind correction. Winds here were 160 at 17 gusting 28. Winds up here are s similar, so I'm getting really pushed to the left and uh yeah, Erie to Buffalo, 25 minutes, and I'm at about 16 minutes right now. So I'm going to hopefully get down to 3,000, and I'm going to start to break out and see a little bit of a, a little bit of a coastline coming together there, where, where Canada and the U.S. shake hands. And if I don't, at that point, I'm going to hopefully start tracking a VOR and I can turn and go towards uh, Rochester. Both of them currently are, are reporting IFR conditions. Buffalo 160 at 22, gusting 29. Broken at 800, overcast, um, excuse me, broken at 8,000, overcast 9,500. So we should be good there. Buffalo, similar winds, little lower ceilings, broken 3,400. Um, but if we're at 3,000, we should be below. And there we go. So we're starting to get out of it. Okay, very good, very good. Now it's just going to be a matter of trying to figure out where the heck I'm making landfall here. So... All right, Connor, you said there's an NDB-5 north of the field here? Why am I not seeing it? Would it be on the VFR sectional instead? Hmm. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. That yeah, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Well, five southwest. Couldn't spot it. Okay, couldn't spot it on the regular chart. Spotted it on the localizer chart. So five down here. I got you. All right, I got you. ILS chart. Ooh, we're back in the suit again. Dang it. That way looks better. I feel like I'd li would rather uh, follow the shoreline. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn and try to get over there. As soon as I say that, it disappears. <laughs> oh, well. I'm still holding out that we'll get improving conditions the closer we get to Buffalo. And we're still, yeah, we're still about seven minutes out. Yeah, it does kind of look like it wants to clear Buffalo just a traffic bit. November 1253, Charlie, 25 to the southwest, 7,000. Inbound ILS 06, circle to land, runway 14, Buffalo. All right, he's gonna, he's lining it up for one and circling for another. We'll take 16 as well. Wait, one four. I'm sorry. And uh, 
Left hand pattern. Okay, similar to what we had before. This is a little bit longer runway, which is always nice. And then it uh, looks like it's a, a, oh, probably a, I tell you what, if we can get it down and turn in time, we could take Quebec and just park over here. But more than likely, we're going to be kind of echo and then uh, over here to the terminal area somewhere. It's sort of trying to get out of the way. I'll plan on that. Hey, there we go. That looks nice. Oh, wait a second. Why do I see Canada right there? <laughs> I don't think I should see that. So that means that means it's time to fly, boys. All right, time to fly. Autopilot, thank you. You've served me well today. Been fun. Close the valve. There we go. And let's make a turn. Try to hold it at about 3,000. I'm at 2,700 right now. So, and um, yeah, we'll just try to get over here. Probably means that I'm in Canadian <laughs> airspace right now, and they're scrambling the. Uh, they're scrambling the DHC-2 beavers to escort me out. I haven't been able to give you very many of these today, guys. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Sun peeking out. I like that shot better than my other one. That's too gnarly. That'll be a, that'll be a nice one. Okay. There's our thumbnail for the day. Yeah, if you're just joining us, by the way, this is the historic airmail route. I think there's Nixie. It's uh, route number 21, and we're eastbound. So historic air airmail route AM21E is what they called it in the famous Ernest K. Gann novel, Fate is the Hunter. They flew it in DC-2s. This is as close as I can get. I think I got lucky with the unreal weather. What are you talking about? Buffalo. Buffalo is showing broken at 8,000. Altimeter 29 or, or 289 or 7. I better check that. 2897. I think, I think visibility-wise... It actually doesn't look too bad. I don't, I don't know about precip wise, but you're down there in St. Louis anyway. What do you know? How is it down down in your neck of the woods, by the way? There, Ralph. You guys getting any any of the snow yet? Ugh. Sunshine at seventy five. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. No precip, just windy and clear, yeah. I, like, like, I know they went through a phase where the weather wasn't good, but the weather in Microsoft Flight Sim is, like, I, I think it's on par, or in some cases better than X-Plane right now. I think if X-Plane gets the uh, rain situation figured out, it'll be that'll be a big help. But like, I I think what they've got going in Microsoft is pretty good. Charlie, five Honest, mile final runway it's yucky cold, windy. Head Some precip supposed to be really cold at the end of the week. Uh, for the left downwind one four Buffalo. We uh, our temperature is just slowly dropping. We're we're getting below zero now every night. We're supposed to our high on Friday is supposed to be like like five above or something like that. It's, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, well there is um, again, kind of the border of Canada and the U.S. So we should have our airfield out here somewhere. Oh, I'm, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I see Connor. I see some blinky blinkies. Ooh, there looks like maybe a little runway as well. So we're still 
or still a good 15 miles, I think, to the south as well. Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816, is 15 to the southwest of the field at 3,000 inbound, Buffalo. Next Monday, five for the high, minus six for the low. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Buffalo traffic, 125 through Charlie, over top of the field, 1,800, left downwind, 1-4, Buffalo. Tomorrow for us, uh, 11 is the low, 28 is the high. Thursday, the low is, is positive 1, the high is 21. Friday, the low is negative 6, the high is uh, 22. But then get this, Saturday, a low of negative 19, a high of negative 3. <laughs> Sunday, for all you churchgoers, we're going to be expecting a low of negative 23 and a high of negative 4. And then Monday... Negative 22 for the low, negative 3 for the high. So I'll be right there with you down one, Sim. Tuesday night, negative 27. Oh, my Lord. But the high is 15 above, so that's all right. Yeah, that's no bueno. What does negative 23 feel like? It feels painful. You know those memes where it says, the air hurts my face? Why do I live where the air hurts my face? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Everything is crunchy. Buffalo traffic, 1253 Charlie, left base, uh, 14 Buffalo. Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816 is now about 5 to the southwest. We see that inbound traffic. Uh, we're going to overfly and join the left downwind. Also for uh, runway 14. Wait, uh, was, it, was that the right runway? Yeah, runway 14. So yeah, the cool part about it is like like when you walk outside everything, including the, the most slippery patch of ice that you could ever find, it all has traction because it all has frost on it and everything just grips and freezes at the same time. So your, your shoes kind of peel off of the cement and the snow and the ice. It's really a it's really interesting. And as long as you cover up, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, breathtaking is sort of, I think, kind of a cliche, but yeah, you can't breathe too deeply. Buffalo traffic, 1253 Charlie, three mile final, 14 full stop, Buffalo. I don't, is this, this must not be, I must be looking at a different, this is, uh, I don't know. There's a couple. There's Buffalo Airfield. No, this I think this is our boy. Yeah, because it's got two. I got. I need to be overflying midfield like I reported. And again, we're looking at 750 feet. So 2200 would be a good flyover altitude. And I'm not quite there yet, but we get. To chance to watch Nixie kind of come in and do his thing. Did we lose him? Probably on the ground. I saw him coming in on final. Where are you, Connor? He must be down already. Oh, there he is. Right there. Buffalo traffic, 1253 Charlie, short final, 14 Buffalo. Uh, right there. No, that's just dirt on my window. <laughs> Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816 is overflying midfield at 2,800. We'll uh, turn left downwind once for Buffalo. Inside. Oh, uh, there he is. And we've got you on final two, Connor. Nice. That's awesome. That's so awesome. All right. Well, down we go. I didn't turn the booster pumps off. That was bad. Had the landing lights on all all the time. That's no big deal. We never got above 3,000 feet, so. And 
first notch flaps can come in. Let's turn 320. Nice controlled descent here. If I can. Coming. Buffalo traffic 1253 Charlie, clear 14 on Alpha taxiing to the passenger terminal, Buffalo. Alright, there's 3 2 around the downwind. Yeah, Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816 on the left downwind, 1 4. Okay. Airspeed looks pretty good. We could be descending a little bit more here not climbing <laughs> this is what got us on the last one definitely not a closed traffic pattern here is it yeah, I'm way out there way out there Buffalo traffic Douglas 816 left base 14 Buffalo Here we go, guys. The weather has once again kind of kind of broken for us, which is uh, so amazing. We've been lucky at two of our fields, and uh, we do have one more to hit. We're going to try to make it down to Rochester, which is actually a, only a 48-mile hop. So stick around. We've got this one last one last leg here to to fly on the historic airmail route. 21 east. Flaps are going to go one half, and that's uh, where we're going to leave them. There's the runway. But below, gals, would you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Darn you, downwind sim. I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all night long. <laughs> Seven fifty, and I'm still up here at one thousand eight hundred. Come on, let the let the aircraft descend there, Melvin. What are you doing? Airspeed looks good. You're fine. The horrible pattern is the problem. I'm a little nervous about that. That's my main thing. Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816, turning final, 1-4, Buffalo. Alright, we're actually somehow not that far off of the glide, so that's good. My typical nice, tight, sharp corners that I'm known for. Gear down. Let's let our approach speed get down to about 100. We'll uh, let that bleed off to about 90 over the fence and then uh, flare it out to right around 80. Get pushed off the right a little bit. Again, the winds are lighter, but they're in by no means light. We're still gusting over 20, which has the ability to ruin my day once I get on the ground. I feel like I'm crabbing a lot more here than I was at Erie. So that's going to have to be dealt with.
big crabby crab. Holy cow. Big old crabby crab. Okay, a little correction. A little, uh, yeah, we've got the right tail, or right, uh, tire down. A little bouncy bounce, but, uh, still flying the tail. Just gonna let it fly itself. <laughs> Good job. Not there yet, but thank you. The the thing that's hard about this and all tail draggers is there there gets a point at which you have no rudder authority, but your 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 uh, tail is still flying. <laughs> oh, and then you get down on the ground and it wants to push you. We are, I am full. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I will take that. After my last uh, couple of streams, feels good to be able to put something down on the ground halfway decent. But let's get the heck out the, off the runway here if we can. This is the crosswind runway. And I'm doing everything I can. Oh, look at that. The tail is flying again. I don't want that. I don't want that. Differential braking. Come on. Come on. Oh. Wind is just crushing me right now, guys. I'm gonna go a little uh, differential thrust here to help. There we go, right engine. All right, holy moly, this was bad. This was sketchy. What a, what an absolutely beautiful wrestling match. I love this plane. I love it. I love it. Now it won't let me straighten out. Okay, let's go left. Engine, asymmetrical, asymmetrical. There we go. Buffalo traffic. Douglas 816 is finally clear of 1-4. Yeah, we're heading to the terminal as well. Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, Tim Dog, I do too. I do too. And I don't even have this set like there is a free castering mode on this this DC3 and I don't have that set our actually our friend uh, 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 Canadian Captain Mustache is the one that coded the free castering uh, tail wheel and holy cow like that would have that would have probably made this a, a no go um, for me because that is purely differential braking and yeah, I have no idea. Differential braking and asymmetrical thrust and yeah, so anyway. Alright, let's do this. Turn some things off here. We're not done. We're not done, but we're going to just turn off the stuff that needs to be turned off and we're going to plan our last <laughs> plan our last leg. This is um, the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim DC3, yes. Aerosoft Heaven is the one that put this in the sim. And then Duckworks. Those are the guys that that made it flyable. So, um, all right. So, yes, seems pretty simple, right? 87 degrees, 48 miles. And we have a VOR that we're going to be tracking, which should help. And we have, it's our first green dot to green, green dot, but we do have a little bit of weather in between. Now, don't let this fool you guys I have the weather and icing turned off this is really what what we're looking at <laughs> so but I think of all the legs this looks like the one that might be the the best weather wise yep aeroplane heaven correct aeroplane heaven Kurt and I can't fault them one bit for the modeling oh my goodness is it beautiful airplane and it Right now, as it stands with this mod, this is my favorite DC-3. I like this slightly better than the Aeroworks in X-Plane 11, and a lot more than the V-Sky Labs. So it's just, yeah. But uh, they're all they're all nice, no doubt about it. The nice thing about this one and the Aeroworks one though is it's, is uh, they're both free. So, and I like free 99. Ah, all right. I got to get a flight plan filed, and then we will be on our way for the last leg, you guys. Thanks again so much for uh, 
for coming along for the ride. Thank you, Connor. I, I'm hoping you'll be able to to fly one more leg with me. If not, I totally understand. But And if anybody else wants to fly this last leg, by the way, we'll just come right back here if we can't make it. Um, 0310. I don't think it's going to take us 45 minutes. In fact, I know it's not. But we'll just say that. And direct uniform file. We're good. There's no ATC. I, I need to make sure there's no way. I shouldn't just say that. Yeah, because Rochester is right on the on the border here. It's in the New York, I believe, RTAC. Or maybe it's even Cleveland up here. Yeah, not 100% sure. But uh, we have both of these legs, by the way, we did. We got pushed kind of out to the uh, to the north a little bit. How about our first touchdown? 1G. 55 knots. That That's slower than the normal V-Ref. I think that's due to the headwind that we had. And then this one here. Ooh, 0.83 buttery Gs. And 52 knots. Wow. Hey, we made a friend here. Ah, Connor. You are in and prepared to be Volanta stocked. Prepare, my friend. <laughs> Is this the mod? Let me look here. Is this the mod? A firm. This is the mod, and you will want to also go and connect with the uh, with the Discord channel too. Very active, good Discord channel with lots of extra resources uh, to help you fly this plane. More by the numbers, which I know you'll be able to do a lot better than me with your uh, real world experience. But yeah. It's all about engine handling and um, sounds and the whole works. It's really, yeah, it's just, it's just a fantastic airplane now. Okay, back to back to the top here, my friends. We need to make sure that the uh, windshield heat and everything here is coming back on as far as icing. I'll wait to put the uh, the pedo and the prop heat and all that stuff on here uh, for just a minute. Radios are set. Altimeter is currently two nine or eight or two eight nine or seven, which is what we just had. We are tracking the Rochester VOR, which is one ten point zero. That is set. We are going to be departing runway heading three ninety nine. It is yes, indeed. I mean. It, it's uh, and I have the cheapest version of the uh, of Microsoft Flight Simulator too, so that's that's also something to be to be noted. You don't have to have the premium deluxe version. Okay, uh, runway heading, and then eventually we'll be going. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna set this at zero uh, eight seven, just so we know. We've got a little reference of where we're gonna go. I don't know if that will. I don't know that we'll use the autopilot this time or not but uh, we'll have that ready just in case all right beacon passing lights coming on and yeah we're ready buffalo traffic uh douglas 816 out of the terminal area taxi runway 14 via delta would be crossing 23 buffalo that's that away now that's assuming I can get I can get this thing turned with the wind. Okay, I'm just I'm just putting a ton of of left hand thrust in here. No tail wheel, spinny spinny. Where do I go? Alright, oh wait a second. I'm on a closed taxiway. Shoot. Uh, I think I'm on. Ah, crud. Just don't kill it. Don't kill it. Miss my turn. Sorry, Nix. If you're behind me, Connor, I apologize. I want to be over there. It won't let me turn. If you know how much left hand <laughs> thrust I was putting in for that. Oh, tailspin. Round loop. 
Rotor turn. What's it called when you do that in a helicopter? Pedal turn. Buffalo traffic, November 1253, oh, Charlie. Oh, good lord. There we uh, go. Delta, Delta 1, runway 14 behind the drunk DC-3, Buffalo. <laughs> is this, this is Bravo. Where am I? Oh, I, so I have a... I think I have a little bit of an outdated... Taxi chart. Hang on, let me just... I'm going to ref my... <laughs> That's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. Buffalo traffic. Douglas is crossing 2-3 on what we think is Delta. Yep, that's Delta. I'm right behind you. Good to have a wingman. Wonder if the wings will let you fly... Uh, will let you... We'll fly if you spin it in circles fast enough. <laughs> uh, like a, uh, turn this thing into a rotary winged aircraft. Is that what you're suggesting? Oh man, I'm all over the place. Runway heading 3000. Uh, if I'm on an IFR. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I have, I have not been checking those procedures, Connor. Thanks for doing that for me. I am, I am often lax at that. I live in this, uh, I live in this world of between IFR and VFR with this plane because I don't I don't technically think they were ever filing IFR because they didn't have instrument procedures. So I maybe I should be filing 3500 and just trying to fly this thing VFR. I don't know. But I will fly at runway heading until until we're at 3 and then we'll then we'll start chasing the Rochester BOR. Alright, here I am. Let's do some final checks. Let's get my timer ready to go. We are we are expecting again we're gonna turn uh, 087 just basically track direct to once we get going and we should have ourselves a 16.5 minute flight here to kind of wrap things up for the evening. What a great evening it's been, you guys. Buffalo traffic, Douglas 816 is departing. 1-4 will be straight out, Buffalo. I have not really been checking final, but I haven't been hearing anybody either. Kind of had the airspace to ourselves tonight. Okay, line it up, line it up, line it up. Here we go. Give me 46. Nice and easy. Keep it pointed down the runway. Boy, the tail is up. There's an example of, again, flying the tail before I really had rudder authority. My airspeed was just barely alive. I'm already flying. <laughs> awesome. One last shot of these beautiful, beautiful gears coming up. Ka-chunk. Flaps. No idea what my airspeed is. Oh, my airspeed wasn't too bad, honestly. Nose over to 110. In the meantime, let's bring the RPMs back 26 and uh, manifold 36. Continuous climb. Trying to hold runway heading ish. I'm not doing a very good job of that, but looks like I might have needed to sync my gyros up here. I'm a little bit a little off. Okay. I wonder if this is I wonder if this is tracking anything. Or if that's just a timer. I just don't know. I need to need to learn. Need to learn more. 
That'd be a heli DC-3. <laughs> okay, nose it over again. Again, just trying to pick up a little airspeed here. This thing's not really built to climb much more than about a thousand feet a minute anyway. <clears throat> On our way up, and and you'd think at only 48 miles we'd be picking up that uh, VOR, wouldn't we? Strange. Rochester. Rochester wasn't the ones. Wasn't one of the ones that was being decommissioned, was it? 110. Nothing. That's what I've got. Well, there's 3,000. We can turn on course now. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves roughly eastbound. I'm, I'm not. Southwest traffic 1253 Charlie departing uh, 14, runway heading till 3,000, Buffalo. Not in a huge um, rush to get to 90 here because we've been getting pushed around, and I think, again, I, I think I might. I think I may point her at more like a 110, like about a 20 degree, 20 degree crab here. But yeah, I'm not tracking diddly squat here. I'm not tracking, not tracking anything. It's 120. Yeah, you could even see I'm pretty well. Not quite, I guess. But you can just see as I'm as I'm flying straight ahead. The earth is moving, so you can see I'm getting pushed to my left. I'm getting pushed northbound. So maybe 120 is a better 30 degree crab angle. I don't know. Do you think I was 30 degree crab angle coming into land there? All right. Start the timer here. I missed starting the timer. So my 16 and a half, I'm probably already three minutes out, right? So let's say about 13, we'll say we're looking for, we're looking for lights. I got traffic ahead of me here. I haven't heard anything from them yet, unless they've been doing the text Unicom. I don't know who that is, so. All right, we are at cruise. We go 2,300 on the RPMs, about 32 inches on the manifold. And let's let it settle back in. I climbed about 4,000 feet too high. Or 400 feet too high, I should say. Let's let that get settled in. And we're going to need to look for, I guess, visual waypoints here. So what what would I be seeing here other than, like, it looks like we've got Interstate 90 that intersects with... Buffalo traffic, American 2019 on the descent ILS 23, heading 350 at 4,000. We'll be turning inbound in 10 miles. Oh, cool. Maybe that's who that is. Um... So maybe I could pick up this uh, this highway here. I think maybe I'll try to follow Buffalo the highway. Buffalo traffic, November 1253, Charlie, climbing 7,000, departing westbound. Clear of all runways, final call, Buffalo. I am not seeing that runway just yet, though, or that runway, that uh, that highway just yet, though. I'll be honest with you. Anything over there? No. Over there? No. Okay. Man, that would have been nice. I should have I should have been more uh, cognizant of that. I was too I was over reliant. Hey, wait a second. We've got we've got something tuned in here. Okay, cool. Now, just so I am going to double check this. Not my VOR. I'm going to change or my NDB. I'm going to turn that off. And all right, so that's the that is. The, I'm thinking the VOR, so I'm going to turn and try to pick it up, but while I'm doing that, 
I'm going to be looking for that major sort of uh, Interstate 90 that runs basically straight from Buffalo to Rochester. So let's let's do that and we'll see how we do here. Well, and I'm seeing a so this could potentially be the Genesee Airport, Genesee County that we're looking at. If that's the case, the interstate should be running just right in front of it on our side. And Genesee has a single runway that's, it appears to be an east-west running uh, runway. So we'll just kind of double check based off of that. Buffalo traffic, American 2019, Airbus A320 on 10-mile final approach, ILS runway 23. That's a good radio call. I used to hear some other traffic up here. American 1019, 1253, Charlie has you in sight. We're passing behind you. Safe landing. Okay, so we're pretty much eastbound, and we're going to check this runway orientation. It would uh, We're about seven minutes into the flight, so that would put it right about where I think it ought to be, about halfway in between. Buffalo and Rochester. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. I haven't given you very many of these. I should give you a little, uh, little clean sweep so you can enjoy it. The weather's held. And some controversy about the accuracy of the weather. Looks like uh, our traffic behind us here. Beautiful uh, northern New York countryside up here. Alright, can't stay out too long. I'm just a little worried about my altitude and um, now, okay, I feel like we need to turn back to the right a little bit and just follow the needle. I, I don't I don't understand as well as a lot of the sim pilots and uh, real world pilots that describe the uh, the beacon navigation, but at the at the heart it was truly you know, honing in on the direction of a signal and following that as best you could. I, do am I seeing uh, a double, yeah, I think this is Interstate 90, my friends. Evidently, current and accurate weather descriptions are difficult for sims. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. It's kind of what I, what I'm understanding. But like, if you pull up a webcam, well, it's hard to tell now because it's dark. But if you pull up a Rochester webcam, I wonder how close it is to what it is right now. And I know part of, I think part of what X Plane has uh, fought with too is 